Hello everyone and welcome to this new Substance video. Today we are going to explain some guidelines in order to submit content from Substance Designer to Substance Chair. So in case you don't know Substance Chair yet, it's a free exchange platform that we created for the community to, to find and share uh, their, their creation. It's totally free and it's awesome. So if you start with Substance Designer, it could be a, a good starting point in order to find cool resources for free. But in order to make it work well, we have to define some guidelines in order to accept uh, or reject the content that uh, the community is submitting. So we're going to see that now. So the first thing that we look at, uh, we're going to divide this into part, the tech part, technical part and the um, um, submitting part. So in the technical part is all the technical stuff that we look at when uh, we have a new a new content submitted. The first one is uh, when you we have a graph, we open it, of course, and we look at the general uh, performance of it. So basically, we look at the numbers. We just look at how long it, does it take in our PC to open. If it's extremely long, we may uh, refuse it because we have really good PCs, and it would mean that it won't run properly and most of uh, for most of users. So make sure that. Uh, your substance is not too laggy. Then uh, another thing that we look at is when we select the graph like this is that the base parameter, the output size is set to relative to parent and with the width and height to zero. This is really important. And same thing in the graph, we look at the basic sizes of, of everything to make sure that there is not uh, multiplication by two or four for the size. So it can be smaller in, a, in most of the case, but when it's larger, you have to have good reason generally. We also look at the output name. So we make sure that it makes sense that diffuse is called diffuse, height, normal, etc. Um, and also that you have applied a usage. Another thing that we look at is that you provide all the necessary output for one workflow. In that case, for example, it's roughness metal. We make sure that there is at least these four ones. And of course, this one is old, but right now it's called base color. So that's what we look into the graph. Another stuff that we look in the package is different stuff. First, if you have multiple graph, you have to make sure that there is only one which is outputted when we use the SBS or the SBS AR. To do so, just check your graph and make sure that the output computation is set to yes just for the one main graph. So for example, here's VG graph here. I have a fake graph that I just make for this video and you see that you have to put this to no like that. So yes and no. So if you have like 20 graph, make sure that just one is set to yes in the output compu out output computation. Sorry. Also, if you have some resources uh, necessary for your graph to work well, in order to avoid um, mistake, make sure to include them into the graph uh, directly here. Avoid to link it uh, and in any way we are going to see how to export it the right way um, in order not to miss anything. But the best is to make sure that everything is included in the package. And I think that's it for the technical point of view. Let's see that. Uh, yeah, I think that's mostly it. Um, another thing right now that you have to think about is when you export, uh, you have the manual way to do that, so uh, we don't recommend it a lot. Uh, it would uh, mean to publish first SBS AR, and if you want to include also the SBS, the package, you have to do an export with dependency like this and make sure that you are, it's set this way, this unchecked and this checked. Then you would make a zip file of uh, both the or the file that you want to include it and submit. But this is not the, the best way to do so. What you could do is to use the substance export to substantia button, which is straightforward. Here you just choose if you want to choose the SBS AR or the SBS AR plus SBS. That's the uh, we don't accept SBS alone. So 
If you do this, it will open this way and you have some option, like uh, when you publish an SBS AR. Once it's set, it will open the export view. And here, you just make sure to choose the thumbnail, thumbnail progress thumbnail. Uh, what we want to do for the thumbnail generally is something explicit, explicit that we shows directly what we're speaking about. Generally, we use a, a sphere with um, a black background but if you have something which is uh, clear enough uh, it will be it will be good for us then you add a description once again make sure to make something clear uh, in the name don't don't use crazy uh, sign uh, stay alphanumeric uh, with alphanumeric values you can add some tags and make sure to select the proper categories then once you are ready to submit you just tap uploading and then it will uh, put it on subscription share we will receive a notification uh, in order to review what you have done in case you have decided uh, to do the old way for some reason or if you have a proxy or firewall that uh, restrain you to to use this button uh, what you can do is to create uh, the zip file on your own and when you are connected and subscription share you just upload the file put the same information you can add also youtube and a sketchfab link to put your zip file here and the image here and then you save the asset and that's it it will uh, will receive the same way once again it's safer this way but it's really up to you so that's it for this video uh, so make sure to to look at uh, all this stuff and uh, we hope to see your your substances and uh, materials soon on substantial thanks again for watching